Hello, good people. How's it going? It's been a while since I've done my last video. Apologise about that. So, what have we been up to in the meantime? In these last, what, two months has it been? Been that long? Wow. Well, been doing a few things. I've been working a lot. I have two jobs, of course, I have my own online job, selling the uh, frames. I have my regular 9 to 5 as well. Not been too good either recently, so if I stop and take a drink, I apologise. So, I've got a bit of a icky throat. But I've still been buying, I've still been picking lots of stuff up. So I'm going to share some pickups with you today, what I've done in the last few months. Um, but mostly because my online business has took off a great deal, especially since Collectorabilia. Excuse me, Collectorabilia. Um, I've also been getting ready for this Super Retro Games Fair. It's in two weeks time. So I'm going to be there, it's been my third time at one of these events. Second time at the Retro Games Fair, but third time at the venue. Um, my regular thing. Wow. So I'll have more on that in a bit. Share some of the things I'm doing with it. But yeah, got lots of pickups to show. Um, so some gaming, well mostly gaming. Some non-gaming, so I'm going to start with those first. As always, I get a couple of toys and some books, and then most of it's games. Because, you know, that's what I'm always into. So... Now, I'm not a Trekkie, by, by any stretch. I'm a fan of Star Trek, certainly. Especially, you know, the original series. Um, but I'm not a Trekkie. But I saw this, so I had to pick this up, so I thought it was fantastic. So, it's Spock. From the rebooted Star Trek movie. And it's... It is the late, great Leonard Nimoy. So I had to get that. I thought it was great. So I'm going to pop him on the wall somewhere. But I had to get that. That was fantastic. Happy addition to the collection. Pop that over there. Found these as well. Now I think these were actually on the front of magazines originally. I think they came of the magazine. But they're these kind of collectible Batmobiles. Excuse the light. But then I found them fairly cheap. I have two. I have this one from the awful Batman Forever movie, but the car's pretty cool. Oh. So I have that one, pop that down there. And I have this one as well, this is from Detective Comics 400. Not read that one, so I haven't got a clue. But yeah, there's lots to choose from. I, I picked up these two. I'm sure if I find some more at the same nice cheap price, I'll pick up some more, but it's the start of a collection, isn't it? So that's it for the uh, the toy part. A couple of books as well. Uh, this one, Freeway Fighter, it's one of the adventure game books. This one's by Ian Livingstone. Love these books. These are my childhood. I used to read. I've still got all mine that I had. I was a lot younger. All with this green spine. I love these books. Fantastic. This one's kind of a Mad Max-ish kind of one. Choose your own adventure kind of game books, but I love them. These are fantastic. Every time I see some of these, I have to go through them and try and figure out the ones I've not got and pick a couple up if I can. I love these things. Fantastic. Looking forward to playing that and dying horribly, as I always do. Another book. This one is... Silverthorn, Silverthorn, by Raymond E. Feist. This is the second book of the Rift War Saga. First one being Magician, and then the last one being, try and get it right, Darkness at Sethanon. Hope I'm saying that right. Great trilogy of books. If you've not read Magician, go out, pick a copy up. Fantastic. You will not regret it if you're into your sci-fi fantasy kind of stuff. Great book. Great series. Okay, games now. Now I've got lots of games. I also have a couple of systems as well. Yeah, a couple of systems. A few months ago, um, I did a mystery bum boxing for my brother in law Scott. He was moving out, got married recently, moved into his new place with his new bride, and they're very happy together. But he was getting rid of some stuff. So he gave me a big box full of stuff and a big bag, an even bigger bag, I should say, of stuff. 
Um, he saw the video I did. So I thanked him face to face when I saw it. And he said there was something missing from that video. And when I inquired what, he handed me yet another bag. Only this time inside the bag was this, excuse me. An original Xbox. He said it should have been in the stuff he sent, but it wasn't. He thought it was. And when I unboxed it and unbagged it, it wasn't in there. So to rectify his mistake, it was upside down. He sent an original Xbox. Thank you for this, Scott. Fantastic. And so, I've been buying for this system as well. Another system to buy for. I'm okay with that. Oh, yeah. Great. Thank you for that. The other system I was given was by my good friend Phil. Excuse me a moment. Like I said, still got a nicky phone. Yeah, my good friend Phil was going through some of his old equipment, some of his old stuff, and he found a PS3, an original model PS3. Now, I've not got it here because it's actually up in the bedroom all set up. I think my wife's playing at the moment. But he gave me that. Thank you for that. Really appreciate it. Can't have too many PS3s. But as well as that, and I was actually more excited about this, he had this. He said it was part of the equipment he was going through. Didn't want it. Didn't know what to do with it. Would I like it? I'm dropping stuff. Would I like it? And of course I would like it. It's a light gun. Predator 2 light gun. Now one thing I don't have is any G-Con games. G-Con 45 games, I should say. But I've been after them. Now the games, I think, were fairly cheap. I mean, the one I'm after is Time Crisis, because I love that game. But I never had anything to play. I mean, I had the controller, but it doesn't feel the same. Playing a G-Con game with a controller. Now I've got a G-Con compatible light gun. Fantastic. Oh, it's opening it up. And it's all there. Everything's there. Pedal, wires, gun. Brilliant. It honestly looks like it's not been touched. So, Phil. If you're watching this, thank you mate, appreciate it. Now I can't close the box. But yeah. Thank you for that. And I'll put that to some very good use once I've got a game to play on it. Thank you for that. Games, yes. Loads of games over multiple systems. So I'm gonna just go through the pile I've got here as it is. My nephew actually came round well, beginning of April, with a late birthday present for me. He got me, or he found for me, or I don't know where he got it, but one of my favourite Spider-Man games ever. Maximum Carnage. Loved, loved this game. I used to have it originally, when I had a Mega Drive originally, way back when. Loved it. Stupidly sold it, shouldn't have done that. He got me another copy of it. No instructions, but I don't care. Because I know it inside and out anyway. And what I love about this game is the cartridge itself. The colour of it. Look at that. Bright red. Blood red. As it's meant to be for carnage, of course. Fantastic. Thank you for that, Adam. Appreciate that. Put that there. Okay. Now I've got another game here, which... It's for a system I don't have, but I want. No, I'm. I always see games for systems I don't have, and I normally don't pick anything up. But I want to start collecting for the Master System. Now, if I find one cheap enough, I'm going to pick one up. But I don't have a Master System yet. But I did find a game for it. Now, I don't normally go for sports games, as you know. But this was like two pounds. I can't say no to that, especially since I've never seen Master System games like. You know, out in the wild anywhere before. So I picked up this. World Cup Italia 90. I don't know if it's any good. I can't play it until I get a master system. But it's all here for two pounds. It's all here. Yeah. You got the cartridge. You got the oh, take it out. Still got the receipt from the shop as well. Instruction manual. And it came with Poster. No, I don't remember how 
having seen this poster before, but it came with this poster. Uh, games, like a games catalogue. More stuff you can buy for it. I'm going to run down other games. I actually think this poster is a bit more collectible than the game itself, but what do I know? But hey, it's all there, it's all complete. And hopefully at some point in the not too distant future I'll get a chance to play it. Okay. So on a recent trip to the CX found an anthology game for the PlayStation 1, which I hadn't had. Had to pick it up because I love my Atari games, so I picked up this once it's not got a light shining on it. Atari Anniversary Edition Redux for £3.50, which I thought was a great deal. Yep, it's all there. Instructions and all. And it's still got its original case, which I know recently, if you've been watching through Twitter and stuff, a lot of CX games don't have the original cases with them. And I actually have a game here like that, which I'll share with you soon. But yeah, pretty good. All your Atari arcade classics on here. You've got your missile commands, you've got your centipede, you've got your asteroids. Excuse me, get another drink. Oh, excuse me. Uh, yeah, money well spent, I think. That's me. My wife probably wouldn't agree. Okay, PS3. PS3 games. These are mostly from my good friend Jamie's shop. She had a sudden influx of video games. I went through them, picked out some of the ones I don't have or ever played before. So the first one is my first ever Call of Duty game. Modern Warfare 3. Had a chance to play this yet. But I've never played any Call of Duty games. So, is this a good place to start? I'm going to clue. I suppose I'll play it and find out, I guess. But it was cheap. I was cheerful. Now this game, my nephew's been going crazy for recently. It's supposed to be really, really good. Watch Dogs. Again, not what I know much about. I know supposed to be really good and that's good enough for me plus it was recommended by my nephew he's not let me down so far he recommended all the Devil May Cry stuff loving that so bought that on his say so everything's falling down here okay Grand Turismo 5 because the only Grand Turismo game I played was uh, number one way back when we had that. Give it a go, why not? The one from the CX I found, and I thought this was a fantastic price. And I checked the case, it's the original case. Bioshock 2, £1.50. Yeah, I'm sure this is a game most people have in their collection. I never got around to playing it at the time. So, picked it up. One fifty. Even if I don't like it, that's a good price for that, I think. Yeah. All there, still. Still all stuff there. Game of the year as well. Must have been good. Okay. Now, I said I had a game from the CX that didn't have its original case. It's here. It's a Wii game. Now, a lot of people would say, why did you buy it then? If you saw it didn't have its original case, why did you buy it? Well, because it was 50p. Even if you just get a disc on its own for 50p, I think that's pretty good. It's an Avatar game. As in the anime Avatar, not the Blue Aliens. Um, not everyone's cup of tea, maybe. I love the series, and I've got the first game for the uh, Game Boy. And I liked it. But I just thought it was... It's just the blatant, blatantness of it. I mean, it's this game. Burning Earth, as you can see, 50 pence. So, from the CX. But, I don't know if it's coming through, but the quality of the printing on it is just. It's awful, basically. It's awful printing. It's just been laser printed. 
And if you're going to put a game, an original game with original instructions, in a case and pass it off as an original, right? I don't know if that's coming through. It's got a PGA Tour hologram on the case. PGA Tour, really? Avatar? Come on guys, cover your tracks a bit better, at least. I mean, that would have peed a lot of people off. To me it was a 50p game. I'm sure if it was a much more expensive game that I bought online and it came through the post like this, I'd have been a bit more upset, but I knew what I was getting when I bought this. And if anyone can't tell whether it's an original case or not, when you're in the shop, open up the case. Because there's no games in the cases, so it's always open. Check the inside. See that? They always put the CX stamp on the inside of the case that they print themselves. So, just a tip. Double check if you're not sure. Always check for that. Moving on. Okay. Xbox 360, yes, I picked up some Xbox 360 games. I'm loving that at the moment. So, first one I picked up was Iron Man. The original Iron Man. Because I found this in a charity shop. It was like 50 pence or something. No instructions, just the game. But, it's Iron Man. You know, I love my superhero games. It's another one for the collection. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. Worth 50p. Now this one I had to pick up, so I went to Cash Converters, which is like a pawn shop. Excuse me, I'll take yet another drink. <coughs> Excuse me. And I found this, which I didn't have. Now in CX and other retro shops I've seen, this is 8, 10, sometimes 15, 20 pounds. Cash Converters had this, yeah, there's the trademark yellow. For the high price of £1.99, pence, less than £2. Got to have that. Had to have had it. Instructions and all, complete. Works perfectly. Been on that lots and lots of times. Trying to unlock all the different games. Playing all the games I've not played for a long time. Fantastic collection. Now, I don't know if this is the same as the new collection that's just come out for the PS4 and Xbox One. But I'm loving this at the moment. Great. Lots of hours spent on that already. Many more to come, I'm sure. Okay, while I was in Cash Converts, found this one as well. Another Xbox game. Which I'd seen in a Hidden Gem video. I don't remember what channel it was, I apologise. But it was in a Hidden Gem video. Love watching Hidden Gem videos. Always give me ideas. If I find the game and it's not too expensive I'll pick it up and give it a go this is Earth Defense Force now this is Insect Armageddon which I think is game 2 it might even be game 3 I'm not sure basically you are battling giant insects from space or aliens that have turned insects giant either way it's a lot a load of fun really fun game it's just you and a horde of insects and the guns on your back. It's fantastic, like a 3D one and gun. Brilliant game. And as you can see, another high price. That's upside down. I apologize. There you go. One pound ninety-nine. Another game for under two pounds. And it's loads of fun. If you find it that price, pick it up. I'm, I'm going to look out for the other Earth Defense games now because that is really good. Okay. More games to come. PS2 this time. So, another superhero game I hadn't had before. Uh, Fantastic Four Rise of the Silver Surfer. Simply because I don't have it in my collection and I seem to get in a lot of superhero games. You might have seen my superhero game video I did ages ago. Here's another one to go with it. I have the original Fantastic Four. Now I've got Rise of the Silver Surfer. Not played it yet. It's, I don't know if it's better or worse than the first. I don't know. But hey, it was like 20p or something. 
from a car boot sale, so not going to complain that. So another one, I found this one in a charity shop. Summoner, I think it's an RPG. Judging by the uh, ratings on the back, ninety percent, eighty-nine percent. That's got to be good, right? I mean, these are based on independent magazines, at least. So, I'll give it a go. I like a good RPG. Once I have the chance to sit down and actually play a decent RPG. It's one of those games I see all out. Never picked up. Never really looked at it twice. It was there. Picked it up. And we'll give it a go. So, Grand Turismo. Another Grand Turismo game. I'd never seen this one before, though. Never even heard of it, to be honest. This is uh, 2002 Tokyo Geneva. Don't know if it's any good. Could be total cack. I don't know. Oh, Grand Turismo Concept. Apologies. Is it rare? Is it not? I don't know. But, I know. Over. See, there's a gift aid. Over a charity shop special, 50 pence. Can't go wrong at that price. Well, you can, but, you know, it's 50 pence. Same shop, same time. Needs for Speed. Yeah, my first Needs for Speed game. You know, a lot of people go crazy for these. They prefer these to the Gran Turismo games. I know my friend Phil, who gave me the light gun. He loves the Need for Speed games. Loves them. Um, and I think this is one of his favourites, so I'm going to get it on his recommendation. Not played it yet. Should be good. You know, if I like it, I'll buy a few more. Okay, now I said I was buying for the original Xbox as well because I've just been given the original Xbox for my very kind brother in law. So, in my last pickups video, I showed you that I had a Midway Treasures for the PlayStation 2. Excuse me, yes, Midway Arcade Treasures PS2. That was number one. I found this one at a charity shop, because I do go to a lot of charity shops. Arcade Treasures 3 for the Xbox. Great games in this one. I'm not going to go through them all. Pause the video and find out. But yeah, lots of good ones in that. Just need Arcade Treasures, treasures 2. No? Don't I? Halo 2. Good game, good game. Just need number one now, and I've got the original trilogy. You know, not not got number one. Crazy. I think I would be the first thing I went away. But yeah. I'm surprised I've not seen it anywhere though. Weirdly, number three I find a lot. I find number three loads, but uh, so number two. Let's pick it up. It's supposed to be classic. So can't go. On. Okay, my last game and another Xbox. Anthology game. Atari Anthology. Yes, another Atari game. This one has 85 games on it. This one's from my good friend Jamie's shop, the Bargain Boutique. Check it out. Console and arcade ports. 85 of them. Fantastic. Love, love anthology games like this. Because there's not even that many Atari anthologies, chances are there's a lot more games on this that are different than on PlayStation 1. One. So, lots to play, and I've played very few of them. So, most of the time that I have when I do play a game on the uh, Mega Drive ports. So, the majority of my time this, these last few months, I've been getting ready for the Super Retro Games Fair. And I'm going to keep showing this to advertise it because you should go. If you have a list of games, a wish list, because I know I do, this is the place to go. Over 70 sellers. Some are selling other stuff, but most of them are going to be games. So definitely check them out if you can. Very busy for that. Been doing lots, trying to do lots more for it. I even got in contact with a couple of YouTubers. So just, you know, just spread the love. Uh, first guy I got in contact with was Mort from Mort's Moments. If you don't know Mort, check him out. All around nice guy. Does lots 
for the virtual community, lots of streams, lots of builds, because he does lots of Lego stuff as well. And every time we go to an event, he is always there doing a prize draw. So I contacted him and said, I'd love to be a part of it. He got back to me saying, fantastic, what have you got? Showed him some pictures and he chose two frames. So these are the two frames. So if you see Mort at the Retro Games Fair, and you probably will, tall guy, he has the word Mort written on the back of his t-shirt, can't miss him. Get a ticket from him and you could be in the running to win either Sonic the Hedgehog or Donkey Kong. These are the two he's chosen. And these are the ones that I'm going to hand over to him on the day. Put those there. So if you see Mark running around, talk to him. Show him what you got. Maybe you can one of his videos. Nice guy. I also got in contact with the Retro Heads. Again, I'm going to put his details below, along with Mark's, all down below. They are doing a tournament. A Mario Kart tournament. Fastest lap wins. So naturally... This is for them. I don't know if it's going to be first prize, second prize, or even just a runners-up prize, I don't know. But this is for them. You'll be there on the day. Who knows? You might even walk home with it. So, lots has happened over the last few months. Lots more to come. I'm going to get back to making some more stock for my stall. If you come on by, the 23rd of June. Come say hello. Maybe even take a browse and stuff. Never know. But even if you don't have a look by my style, go check out the Super Retro Games so you will not be disappointed. Leeds University, 23rd of June. I will see you there, I hope. And if not, until next time, thank you for joining me. See you very soon. Bye bye.